What is an adenosine stress test? A heart nuclear study is a test that uses a small dose of radioactive solution to track blood flow to the heart muscle and to evaluate heart function. Adenosine is a special drug which is injected intravenously and causes blood vessels to dilate. An adenosine stress test evaluates the coronary arteries, blood vessels that supply blood to your heart, by dilating them and increasing blood flow within them. This mimics what happens to the coronary arteries during exercise. An adenosine stress nuclear study can provide your doctor with information regarding whether or not you have significant blockages in your heart arteries. The test also includes an assessment of the pumping function of your heart. Common indications for an adenosine stress nuclear study to determine if coronary artery disease is present and if further studies and or treatment are required. To evaluate progress following a major cardiac event, such as a heart attack or heart surgery. To evaluate whether a blockage found during an angiogram requires angioplasty. To follow the progress of documented coronary artery disease. Preparing for the test. Different laboratories will have different specific instructions about how to prepare for this test. In general, you will be asked not to eat, drink, or smoke for three hours before the test. Sips of water are allowed. Not to consume any caffeinated beverages, chocolate, or product containing caffeine for 24 hours before the test. Not to consume theophylline, also known as Theodore, for 24 hours before the test. If you take dipyridamol, also known as persantine, or Agronox, you will need to hold these medications for several days prior to the test. Check with your doctor if you need to temporarily substitute another medication during this time. You can take your other usual medications with a sip of water unless instructed differently by your doctor or nurse. Diabetics who use insulin or glucose-lowering agents may need to adjust their dosage. Always check with your health care provider if you are not sure. The test. The following is an explanation of a typical study. The way your study is performed may vary slightly from this explanation. Usually, the entire test takes approximately two to three hours, although you will be receiving the adenosine infusion for just four minutes of that time. An IV will be started in your arm and a small dose of radioactive solution will be injected. This material needs to circulate and be taken up by your heart cells for approximately 45 minutes. After this, you will be asked to disrobe from the waist up and will be provided with a gown to wear. Next, you will be asked to lie on a scanning table and a special camera called a gamma camera will be positioned close to your chest while you lie still. The gamma camera takes pictures of your heart. This part of the test evaluates blood flow to your heart muscle at rest and takes approximately 20 minutes. After the first imaging session is done, a specially trained nurse will place electrodes on your chest so that the electrocardiogram, or ECG, can be monitored continuously during the stress test. In men, limited shaving of the chest may be required to assure good contact between the skin and the electrodes. A blood pressure cuff will be placed on your arm so that your blood pressure can be measured before, during, and after stress. You will then receive the adenosine infusion for approximately four minutes. Near the end of the infusion, you will receive another injection of a radioactive solution so that blood flow to your heart during stress can be assessed. After stopping the adenosine infusion, you will continue to be monitored until your heart rate and blood pressure return to pre-stress levels. After this, you will have another break. This break is required to allow time for some of the radioactive substance to wash out of your gallbladder and bowel. Finally, you will lie back down on the scanning table to be imaged by the gamma camera for another 20 minutes. This part of the test evaluates blood flow to your heart muscle at stress. Is it safe? Stress testing is very safe. The likelihood of a serious complication, such as a heart attack or death, 
is less than 1 in 10,000. It is important to keep in mind that you will be continuously monitored throughout the test by experienced personnel and that the test will be stopped if there is any indication that continuing the adenosine infusion would be unsafe in any way. Adenosine infusion is often associated with transient side effects. These range from a sensation of flushing to headache, chest discomfort, shortness of breath, and lightheadedness. All of these side effects are very short-lived, tolerable by most patients, and usually disappear within seconds of stopping the adenosine infusion. The radiation exposure from the test is relatively small and not associated with any significant health risk.